It's three o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Anya Carvel. In lieu of our regular news, this is a Spirit Radio special report. The death has occurred in the Roman province of Judea of Jesus of Nazareth. The popular teacher and religious leader was executed by crucifixion along with two other prisoners this afternoon on Mount Calvary in Jerusalem. The 33-year-old, also known as Jesus Christ, was arrested on Thursday evening. It's understood one of his friends, Judas Iscariot, assisted authorities with their inquiries and subsequent arrest. After cross-examination overnight by officials from different jurisdictions, Governor Punches Pilate ordered the execution this morning. Eyewitness reports from the trial suggest the governor's initial verdict to release the Nazarene without charge was reversed following representations from local religious leaders. The convicted man was forced to carry his own cross to the execution site. The crucifixion was carried out at midday and his death has been confirmed, with cause of death recorded as asphyxiation brought on by scourging, crucifixion, extreme exhaustion and loss of blood. Rebecca Ryan has more. Jesus Christ, the son of Joseph, a carpenter from Galilee, was born in Bethlehem. His family moved to Egypt for an undisclosed period before settling in Nazareth. Jesus worked as a carpenter in the family business and more recently as a travelling teacher and preacher. He was known for his ability to heal physical conditions, including epilepsy, blindness and paralysis. He was praised for reaching out to the lonely, poor and marginalised and for his unique insights and teaching style. Last year, a wide range of media outlets reported eyewitness accounts of a miracle where Jesus fed in excess of 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. He is also reported to have brought people back from the dead. Jesus divided public opinion by identifying himself with messianic claims in the Hebrew scriptures and angered religious leaders by claiming to be God's son, which constitutes blasphemy under Jewish law. Other scholars criticised him for claiming to have the authority to forgive sins. Jesus was in Jerusalem to celebrate the Jewish feast of Passover this week. On the night of his arrest, he held a Passover banquet with his friends, where he's reported to have foretold his death. The number of followers of Jesus' movement is not known, but is thought to be in the thousands. Most commentators believe these will disperse following the execution of their leader. Jesus is survived by his mother Mary. In lieu of flowers, the family has requested that everyone try to live as Jesus did. Donations may be sent to anyone in need. Reporting from Jerusalem for Spirit Radio, I'm Rebecca Ryan. Meanwhile, doubts have emerged over the legitimacy of the trial of Jesus of Nazareth. A member of the Jewish Council claims that council procedures were circumvented by holding court proceedings at night. There are also concerns that Judas Iscariot may have received financial inducements from temple authorities to inform on his former boss. In a dramatic twist of events, the body of a man believed to be Mr Iscariot has been found today in a field close to Jerusalem. Police are not looking for further witnesses. It is thought that Mr Iscariot's untimely death could hamper inquiries into bribery allegations. The body of Jesus is to be removed to a stone grave near Calvary donated by Joseph of Arimathea, who was a friend of the family. Local politicians have called for a 24-hour armed guard to be mounted outside the tomb because of concerns that it may be robbed. It's understood that Governor Pontius Pilate has consented to these security measures. And that's your special report at four minutes past three on Spirit Radio, the home of positive hits and inspiration for your day.